last video, I told you that 12.5 was abnormally long, and hopefully you are starting to believe me. Uh, we want to work out the triple integral of this function uh, over this solid E, and E is enclosed by this paraboloid that's been shifted up, this cylinder, and the xy plane. Now, uh, it's really easy at a glance to look at this picture and actually look at the wrong volume. It'd be really easy to think, oh, I want to find the volume inside this bowl. That's not what we're asking for. I want to be enclosed by these three things. So the xy plane, that's just this bottom here. So we're going to, that's the bottom. We're starting here, and then we're going up until we hit this. So it's like we took this whole perfect cylinder, and then we carved out this gouge. We're gouging out this bowl shape, and we're left with uh, the volume somewhere like this. And my picture isn't perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. But I do want to make sure that we are seeing the right volume here. I am going to be annoying and try to shade all of this because, oops, I can't help myself. Oh, man. Whatever. Okay, so just a couple of things. Um, I didn't bother to, you know, try to measure out radius root 5, whatever. Okay, this paraboloid opens up like this, and so it's going to go out this far, and you're going to get a picture that looks like that, and we want this solid. So we're just taking the volume of this nice little cylinder, and then we're carving out the tip of it, and we got to get rid of that. Could you do this as a volume subtraction problem? Absolutely. That's not our goal, though, today. We want to try to practice using um, cylindrical coordinates. So let's do it. Uh, I'm going to think about, again, this region right here, the region of projection. But gosh, please realize, I know exactly what that is. That's just x squared plus y squared equals 5. I was given that. This paraboloid in general will expand out forever, but we're stopping it and as long as you're inside that region. So that makes the polar coordinates here uh, really nice because we instantly know the region that we're working over in the xy plane. It's just a circle of radius, whoops, a circle of radius 5. Notice the symmetry about the z-axis. I mentioned that when I was introducing these, but I didn't point it out in the last problem. But there's symmetry about the z-axis, and that sort of cries out for cylindrical coordinates. Let's try to dive in and set it up. So I'm going to jump right to it. So this triple integral over e of e to the z dv, this is going to become, here we go, triple integral e to the z times r dz dr d theta. What's z doing? Well, it's pretty easy to see. I'm going from 0 up. So z starts at 0. And then it goes until it hits this equation. And this equation, I'm going to find right here. And I'm going to switch that to polar. I don't want to write 1 plus x squared plus y squared. I want to write 1 plus z squared. So 0 to 1, so I said z squared, 1 plus r squared. You knew what I meant. And then r, I've got it now. r goes from 0 to root 5. And theta goes all the way around, so 0 to 2 pi. It's really nice to set these up. And again, if you don't believe that this is super worth your time, then I would encourage you to work it out in Cartesian, and you will learn that it's worth your time. All right, I am not going to do this problem anymore. Easy integration, uh, and you even can do a, a u substitution in the end. This uh, you're going to end up with a e to the e to the one plus r squared times r. You'll do a u sub, kick out a two pi right off the bat there. This one works out very nicely, and you're going to end up with pi times e to the six minus e minus five. You should absolutely work this one out. Uh, before you work on the homework just to make sure that you've got it and can compute. All right, that's 12.6.